big sigh of relief in a small Texas town. Four hostages are free and safe following an hours-long standoff inside a synagogue. Tonight, some new details on the ranting suspect who stormed the building. An underwater volcano eruption triggers a tsunami advisory for the West Coast. Flooding, high waves, and strong currents slammed several coastal communities. Tonight, the advisory has expired, but there are still precautions in place at local piers and beaches. And trouble on the tracks. First, thieves raid cargo trains and litter the tracks with stolen packages. Now, a train derailment. Tonight, the investigation into what caused 17 cars to go off the rails in Lincoln Heights. The news at 11 starts right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 11. I'm Rich Hi there. I'm Courtney Friel. Let's begin with that breaking news happening in Texas where all four hostages who were held inside a synagogue are alive and safe tonight. Authorities say the hostage taker was killed during the rescue. Police making that announcement on the successful recovery of the hostages just after 8.15 tonight. Now, take a look at the map here. The situation began this morning. This is in Colleyville, Texas. That's about 30 minutes northwest of oh, Dallas, some 15 geez. miles northeast of Fort Worth. And here's what we know so far about the events that led up to the suspect storming the synagogue. Police responded to the area about 8.40 this morning after a man entered a Shabbat service and took control of the Facebook live stream that was being broadcast. The man released one hostage around 3 p.m., but SWAT teams had to storm the building about five hours later. Our correspondent, Marky Martin, joins us now with the latest.